Hey, how you doing? This is Cam. Thank you for checking out my video. Uh, this video is about Gene Geigel, the NBRC, uh, one of the officers. He's uh, pretty much the historian of the NBRC. He knows a lot about the history of NBRC. Um, if you're new to this channel, please press subscribe and press the icon to get any notifications of any new videos that I uh, post. Uh, I'll be posting a lot of pigeons, uh, uh, pigeon health, pigeon people, and some of my personal stuff. So. Please check it out. I uh, hope you like this video and have a great day. What's your name? My name is Gene Geigold. Okay, and where are you from? Uh, I'm from Los Angeles. But we currently are... Currently, we're, we're in Lakewood, Washington, where I recently moved. Oh, okay. And where are we in, actually, right now? We're in my uh, den, or actually, this is my office, where I handle all the pigeon business for the uh, bands. I'm the band secretary for the NBRC. Wow, for the whole National Birmingham Roller Club? That's correct. Okay, so if they want to know about roller bands, yes, they're actually calling you for the his history. You're and the historian. I am the historian for the NBRC. So behind you right now is the Master Flyer Records, right? Back there. These are all the breeding records breeding records of uh past greats and, and current greats and we got the bands actually right there right the bands are the uh from previous years okay uh these okay. leftover bands that i still sell oh okay okay i understand okay so what um family of rollers did you fly when you were flying i'm i've had the closest 514 pinsums that was alive in the world 514 is the band number, right? That's the band. PRC 53 number 514 was the the greatest 10 that Bill Pinson ever produced. Oh, Bill or Pinson. one of the greatest. Oh, okay, okay. And what was your best pigeon moment? Uh, basically, I can remember buying pigeons at the old Quonset Hut on Imperial Avenue in Gardena. Oh, I know. Directly from Bill Pinson and Howard McCulley and Bobby McCamey and... Uh, Bill Patrick, Dan McKenzie, that whole crowd would go over there once a month and sell their pigeons real cheap for a quarter, 50 cents. Oh, and back then that was average price. That was average price. Because uh, I know people sell for $100 a bird now. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's your favorite pigeon moment. What would you want to say to a new pigeon person? Buy good stock, buy quality stock. If you had a choice between buying a pigeon that had a pedigree or a non-pedigreed pigeon, buy the pigeon that has the pedigree. Um, otherwise, you're buying something that you could buy in a pet shop. Oh, okay. And so keep a record, right? Keep a record. So Because that, that right there, this is some old records you have right there. Exactly. So 1939? 1939. I have the original pedigree signed by Pinsom and J. Leroy Smith on uh, some of the imports that came over from England uh, that Bill had brought here specifically to start the breeding program in the United States. Okay, so you mentioned Bill a bunch of times. Who is Bill Pinsom to you and who is Bill Pinsom to the, the, our hobby? Bill Pinsom is the godfather of uh, Birmingham Roller. Uh, he was well known in England, even as a young man, because his father had rollers. Uh -huh. And he is considered the grand master of pigeons for the, the Birmingham Roller pigeon. He imported the, the original birds over here in 1935. He subsequently came to the United States in 1948. He imported here in 1950 and raised his two daughters, who I am very close with. Uh, one has since passed away, uh, but I was friends of the family since I was very young. And he was a very uh, diligent record keeper also. Yes, I have his breeding records. Oh, you have it? Yes. So, yeah, so if anybody wants to really know about pigeons, imports, you would be the best person. Correct. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, wow, a lot of information taken with this short video, huh? Over 40 to 50 years I've collected breeding records. And that's your passion? That is. Oh, okay, okay. And what would you, uh, again, going back, telling the person about record keeping, what would a uh, key thing to record? Just the, the band? The band number, the year of the bird, the color of the bird, the sex. It's prodigy. All the youngsters that the bird produced on a particular cock or a particular hen. And I see. And then you want to fly them and, out. And you want to keep good flying records so you know what bird is is has the potential to be another producer. Oh, I see. I see. And take pictures. I see. Um, yes. <laughs> take lots yeah, of pictures. Yeah, he took a, bu a bunch of old pictures too, yeah? Yes. Okay, okay. Anything else you want to say to... 
the pigeon world just remember it's a hobby it's not yeah. the it's not there to make a million dollars it's a hobby good friends good people good birds and a good it'll it'll help you in your life okay can you pick that um the one and what was this one again this is again is a uh the pedigree of 1939 pigeon band number 1847 uh autographed by bill pinson claiming that this is one of his all-time favorite birds he uh sent it here to the united states to uh cyro valenti and uh chan grover these are the foundation birds of the birmingham roller in the united states as we know it now